Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lena and I make police related videos because I'm a police officer. I also make debt free journey videos because I'm on a debt free journey as well. And I make other videos. That pretty much sums it up. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm coming at you today with a finance video, financial video, a debt free journey video. Sure. So. I follow kind of, sort of, loosely Dave Ramsey's um, financial freedom steps. Now, I, if you're familiar with my debt-free journey, I paid off my credit card, I paid off my car note in full, I bought a new car. Don't regret it, but regret how much it cost. There we go. I'm slowly paying off my student loans, but all my payments are going towards interest, but that's a different story for another day. Given the climate today, the situation that we're in, the pandemic, I've taken this opportunity, instead of paying down my loans, because they're on pause, I decided to beef up my emergency fund. Now you're probably thinking that's the opposite of what you should be doing. I know in my heart of hearts that $1,000 for an emergency fund does just not sit well with me. And I understand the concept behind his $1,000 emergency fund, just get to $1,000. It's meant for people who don't have any savings at all to save $1,000 in the event something happens, they don't go completely derailed or broke or anything like that. But also in my mind, I have a lot of anxiety towards money. Thankfully, I have a very steady job that I was able to work through the pandemic and have a steady paycheck where I was able to save for my emergency fund. So I had a goal to save a $10,000 emergency fund and I'm happy to say that on my birthday, I saved that and a bit more. Why did I set the goal to $10,000? Covers my rent mortgage, whatever you wanna call it, for 12 months. I am set that God forbid anything happens, my mortgage will be paid for 12 months. That was essentially what drove me to save that much money in an emergency fund. So I strongly encourage everybody watching to figure out how much your emergency fund should be, whether that's a six month emergency fund with all your living expenses covered for six months or 12 months or whatever it is, because I honestly don't think $1,000 is enough for an emergency fund. Certain emergencies cost more than a thousand. I just recently got my hospital bill where I was in the hospital for four or five days. Thankfully, again, I have really great insurance and out of $55,000 for my hospital stay, I had to pay $1,200. I had enough in my emergency fund that I could just pay it off. Yeah. That's pretty much what this video is about. Just letting you know that I don't agree with Dave Ramsey when he says $1,000 is enough. It just isn't enough. Let me know in the comments below, are you a Dave Ramsey follower? If you are, do you think a $1,000 emergency fund is enough? Let me know. If not, what is the threshold that you would feel comfortable at? And how are you going to get there or how did you get there? Let us know in the comments below. I'm always looking for advice. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye guys.